Welcome to the Bright in the Corner Children's Broadcast. We are so glad to have you with us today. My name is Brother Jared, and together with my wife, Mrs. Hannah, we would like to invite you and your family to join us for an exciting time of singing, fun, and Bible study. Hey kids, today on the Bright in the Corner Children's Broadcast, you will have the opportunity to learn new Christian songs, memorize a Bible verse, and hear the lesson taught. We encourage each of you to participate by singing along, learning the verse, and listening to the Bible lesson. Let's listen today to our first song. What a wonderful song we just heard. Each of us should desire to praise the Lord and bring Him glory through how we live our lives. It is now time for our Bible memory. Mrs. Hannah, what is our Bible memory verse for today? Well, Brother Jared, today's memory verse is Psalms 5522, and it says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Let's say it one more time together. Psalm 5522, cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Okay, kids, now's the time to pause the program, go back, and learn this verse. It's important that we hide God's word in our heart. Are you ready? Once you learn the memory verse, then you can go back and tell it to mom and dad. Today our Bible lesson is on this topic, how to turn your burden into a bridge, or how to find opportunities in each of life's obstacles. Have you ever tried to lift something that was too heavy for you to lift and carry? Maybe you were helping your mom carry the groceries in from the car, and you couldn't carry two of those heavy milk jugs by yourself. Or maybe you were helping your grandfather with some yard work outside, and when you filled up the wheelbarrow, you weren't able to push it by yourself. You needed some help. Maybe it was your turn to roll the trash can out to the end of the driveway for the garbage truck, and you just couldn't get it up the hill without an extra push. You know, these are all examples of burdens. A burden is simply something that is too heavy for us to carry. And in life, a burden can be anything that is difficult or unpleasant. For example, moving to a new school and leaving all of your friends. Or what about getting sick and missing a field trip at school? What about only being able to visit your mom or dad on a weekend? What about losing a loved one, maybe in a car wreck or even from sickness? These are things we don't like to talk about, but these are things that all of us have faced or will face in life. You know, a burden can be anything that is difficult and makes us sad in life. All of us have burdens. But whenever we have a burden, we have someone that can bear our burdens. You know, whenever we have to lift something that is heavy or carry something that is very, very difficult, 
It's a wonderful thing to have an extra set of hands, especially if someone is bigger and stronger than we are. The good news is that in life we do have someone who is much stronger than we are and much bigger than our burdens. His name is Jesus Christ, and He wants to carry our burdens for us today. Psalm 55:22, the memory verse that we learn, says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and He shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Casting all your care upon Him, for He careth for you. Young people, when we are given a burden in life, we can choose to do one of two things. We can keep that burden and become bitter trying to carry it ourselves, or we can give our burden to Jesus and allow Him to turn it into a bridge that will bring about blessing in our life and in the lives of those around us. So, Brother Jared, how can we turn our burden into a bridge? Well, I'd like to tell you how through a story of a very unlikely hero named Sam the Ant. Sam was a small little ant who lived in a tiny little ant hole in the corner of the yard. Now we must remember that what seemed small to us was very big to Sam the ant. One day, Sam the ant set out to find the perfect piece of wood to help build his ant hole and to keep it strong and dry from the coming rain. Sam the ant climbed out of the top of the ant hole early that morning and set out in search of the perfect piece of wood. It was a lovely day with a blue sky overhead and plenty of sunshine. All was going well until Sam the ant came to a massive rainforest with towering green obstacles in his way. Now to us, the obstacle that Sam faced was simply a patch of green grass in the yard. But to a tiny, small ant, we must remember, it seemed like a mighty rainforest. Sam was a brave little ant, however, and so into the rainforest he went, climbing over the obstacles, around them, under them, working hard until eventually Sam reached the other side. But as soon as he stepped out of the rainforest, he was confronted with his next obstacle, a vast sand-covered desert as far as his ant eyes could see. Now to us, this desert was nothing more than the sandbox in the backyard, but to Sam, the ant, it was as big as the Sahara Desert itself. But again, Sam the ant mustered all the courage he had and set out across the blistering sand in search of the perfect piece of wood for his little ant hole. After searching and searching across the sand, his diligence finally paid off. Sam had found it, the perfect piece of wood for his ant hole. It was large and heavy, and Sam lifted it with all of his might just to get it on his back. Now to us, that large, heavy piece of wood was not big at all. In fact, we would just call it a toothpick. But to Sam, it was a heavy burden. Now that Sam had found the perfect piece of wood for his ant hill and had his heavy burden, it was time to return home. But oh no! When Sam looked above him, he saw that the sun was already setting. It had taken him all day just to find that piece of wood. What would he do now? But then Sam the ant had an idea. It was dangerous, but it would allow him to get home before it became dark. Sam would take the ant interstate. Now, the ant interstate was a large and very dangerous highway that the ants would sometimes take. But they had to be careful because large shadows would suddenly crash down and squish unsuspecting insects. Now, what the ant interstate really was to us was nothing more than a sidewalk that went through the middle of the yard. And those large shadows, you probably guessed it, they were just footsteps of people walking by. But to Sam the ant, it was large and dangerous, and it was the ant interstate. Well, Sam was very brave, and so he dragged his heavy burden onto the ant highway and began to scurry along, being careful to avoid those shadows and obstacles. But then he came to a large and deep canyon that stretched on for what seemed like miles in every direction. Now to us, it was simply a crack in the sidewalk, something we would just step over. But to Sam the ant, it was the Grand Canyon. How could he possibly carry his heavy burden across? He could not climb down and out again. It was too deep. He could not drag his burden around. It was too wide. What would he do? But then Sam the ant had an idea. He quickly took his heavy burden, the toothpick, off of his back, laid it across the crack, climbed over to the other side, pulled it across, and picked up his burden, put it on his back, and went on his way. Do you know what Sam the ant had done, young people? He had turned his burden into a bridge. What was difficult eventually allowed him to cross what was the obstacle. He had turned that burden into a bridge and found an opportunity in his obstacle. Now, the story of Sam the ant is silly and fun, but it does illustrate an important truth. You and I have burdens in life, but if we give them to Jesus, 
He can turn our burdens into bridges so that we can overcome life's obstacles and be a blessing to others. We will now go to our final song for the Bright in the Corner children's broadcast. Wasn't that a great lesson? And haven't you enjoyed the songs? Well, these are important things that we can apply to our heart and life every single week. All right, kids, it's time for us to say goodbye. Have a good rest of the week, and we'll talk to you soon. Tune in next time.